Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This right here is what you're making tonight. It's pasta from scratch, it's vegan, it's insanely good. If you never thought that you, yes you, could make homemade pasta from scratch, homemade ice cream from scratch, homemade chocolate cake, homemade vegan burgers, hit that subscribe button because this channel is all about showing you how to make affordable, homemade, delicious food that's all plant-based and perfect for your entire family. In the description box of this video, you'll find the recipe for this simple homemade pasta bolognese, chocolate ice cream for dessert, vegan of course, and vegan pancakes for the morning after Valentine's night or any morning. So let's get into this pasta recipe so I can show you just how simple this thing is. Okay, flour, oil, garbanzo bean liquid, meaning the liquid from a can of garbanzo beans, and spring water. That's it. You knead it, you roll it, and yes, I use a can of beans in a Ziploc bag as a rolling pin. You make do with what you have. You cut it, you boil it for about five minutes, and then you serve it. I serve it with my vegan meat on top. It cooks up really nice and crispy in a butter garlic sauce. I'm telling you guys, you can do this. You have everything in your kitchen right now and it takes no time at all. It's fresh and delicious. Up next, let's make some chocolate ice cream. Coconut cream, coconut condensed milk, blend them. You can mix them with a whisk, but blending actually works a lot better. Add almond milk, add sugar, add vanilla. Freeze it for about four hours and then it's ready to eat. Or if you have an ice cream maker, you can pour it in the ice cream maker and enjoy it like a soft serve in about 15 minutes. Finally, my pancake recipe. Flour, baking soda, baking powder, sugar, and butter. But here's the trick. I treat it like my buttermilk biscuit recipe and I rub the butter into the flour mixture so it really gets infused in there. Add your milk and you keep mixing. That's how I choose to make it and it's so good. Literally mouthwatering and delightful. You don't even need a spatula. I actually flip it with a fork. It's a whole thing. It's nuts. You can flip it with a fork. That's how you know your butter is right. Step two, how do you know your butter is right? You can put it in the pot without any butter in it and you can flip it as though you flip it with a spatula and butter. We are here flipping it with a fork and no butter. If you, in 2018, are still flipping with a spatula, you're still putting butter in your pot. Your pot ain't right! <laughs> I flip with my fork. Batter. It's right. My batter is right. Okay, let me show you what it looks like when you put it on the stove. I don't use no butter at all. I don't use no butter. This is not a fancy pot. This is a pot from Walmart. This is a regular Walmart pot. Nothing fancy, nothing from Wolfgang Puck. Nothing from your Rachel and your Wolfgang Pucks. This is a mainstays. I got, my sister got it at Walmart. Fancy, nothing fancy. This is not a fancy Kinmore stove top. This is Hot Point. I ain't never even heard of no Hot Point. <laughs> This is a hot point stove, not on fancy, but you want to know what is fancy? My batter. My batter is fancy. My batter is fancy and my batter is right. Recipe down below.